Hi guys, it's Robin from Robin's Nest. Uh, we are on week six. Puppies are six weeks old, but with it being their weekly um, date so that they just turned six weeks, we're getting ready to do bath time and to get some current photos for all of those lovely homes that they're getting ready to go to so that they can follow and keep along with their puppies. Um, so I would like to invite you to experience the day with us. All right, I've got one of our babies, Celine, here. She's actually gonna be the first one to do a bath. She has learned to use the doggy door, so I think she's volunteered herself. I think she's ready. <laughs> All right, everyone, we've got Celine here, and honestly, the first thing that we always do is take the collar off and make sure that there's any adjustments, because the puppies grow at such an incredible rate at this age that the collars have to be adjusted multiple times a week. Um, I always put my fingers in and check it once a day just to make sure that puppies have plenty of room there, because we don't want their neck to have too constriction of um, with, with the collar. All right, so we always start out with our uh, Paw Tree Shampoo 2-in-1 Conditioner. Oh, if we can get it to focus, there we go. Okay, um, it's hypoallergenic. This is the one that I always like to use on the puppies. Honestly, most of the time the puppies don't get fully submerged. The, they are six weeks old now, so we're at a point where they can actually do a little bit of playing in the water now. All right, I've got the water running and it's at a very good temperature. It's warm, but it's not too hot. You wanna kind of do a little bit more than tepid. We'll go ahead and get Celine down in here and we'll let her kind of get used to what's going on here and kind of wet her down because this is going to be a full body bath this week. These guys have started playing outside and I'll tell you what, they have been playing. I have to drag them in from playing outside because they love it so much. All right, she is good and damp now. So we're just gonna take our Paw Tree Shampoo, which is so good. I just used to use like the Hertz and all that kind of stuff from Walmart. And uh, you know, it really did work well, but I saw that at least in some of my adult dogs, they started to have a couple of itchy issues, especially with Bear. Um, he has a sensitive skin. But we're just gonna really lather her up and make sure that we've got this in everywhere. Every, every other bath has always just kind of been um, a spit bath, per se. They didn't fully get submerged. Um, but this one, we're gonna we're gonna get them good. Anyways, um, let's get her off. Go through the pool. Um, the puppies don't really like their face being washed, but we do wash their face. And it's just one of those things. It's kind of like with, with a child. Sometimes they gotta do things they don't want to do, and getting their face washed is one of them. Um, I always leave a little bit of water uh, to stand in the bottom and I do this just to kind of soak their paws. Since there's so many uh, crevices that dirt can get into, we just want to make sure that their paws get the due diligence that it needs. Alright, I think she is really lathered and good. Yes, she is. Alright, we're just going to go through and do a quick rinse. And then we'll go through and do her face, which I'll tell you is not their favorite part, but it's necessary. Miss Celine, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> Poor baby. Oh, you're gonna smell so nice and so clean. Mm -hmm. This has like a kind of a spring floral scent to it. It's very, um, it's not too strong of a scent, which honestly, if you have anything that's really strong with the scent, you should question what it is that you are putting on your dog. 
and just like you and me, their skin is just as absorbent as our skin is absorbent. Anything that we put or use on ourselves, we can absorb through our skin. And, skin, and we just want to make sure that we keep that in mind with our pets too. So that's why we use the hypoallergenic, um, just to make sure that everything's nice and easy. All right, here's Celine. Now we're gonna do her face. I can promise it's not gonna be her favorite part, but let me get the washcloth. Hi, baby. I know, I know. All right. Now I do not submerge their faces in. I just don't feel like that's the best thing that we could do for them. all of that excess water off of her so that we can bring her over and just kind of touch her up lightly with a not hot hair dryer. We always wrap the ears as well just to make sure that there's no um, hearing impairment in the time that we do it. But Miss Celine is super clean. Okay, hey, now that we have Miss Celine done, that is one down and five to go. We always want to make sure that the puppies are nice and warm after bath time. So I come in here and I make sure to heat the room up. We have a little space heater just to get it a little extra warm. So if they still have a tad bit of dampness on it, they don't have any discomfort. All right, now that everyone is washed and clean, and so fresh and extra fluffy, I actually laid them down for a nap. I've got their room warmed up. Um, this gives them some good rest because having the bath and being dried and all that is a lot of extra stimulation. So I'm gonna put Dolly to bed. And as you can see, We got a puppy pile for nap time. She'll curl right in and take a nap. When they get up, we're gonna do some photos, but I don't wanna overdo it for them because they're tiny, they're growing, a lot of energy is going into that right now. So I just don't want to cause too much stress and overstimulation for them. 